All right, Tom, before we get into what will be an amazing, mm -hmm. an amazing NFL season kicking off tonight, Atlanta taking on the Philadelphia Eagles, let's go through some final NFL rumors really quickly here. What's going on with Dan Bailey? Well, he, his agent says he has offers. Now, again, he was cut by the Cowboys. It was maybe the biggest surprise cut yep. in the NFL pre-cut, and it was a freaking kicker. Second most active kicker in NFL history. It worked out with the Jets. That didn't work out. I don't know if it was the Jets or Dan Bailey. The claim is that he has four, four offers. Here is my, my dark horse theory, Harris, is that Dan Bailey is hoping that Brett Maher sucks for the Cowboys in week one, and the Cowboys say, Dan, we're so sorry, please come back. So we don't have to move in all that. Dan Bailey's four offers. Conspiracy theory. Chargers, 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 and Chargers. <laughs> go, we'll side with, go side with LA, Dan Bailey. All right, no, we'll come back to that. <laughs> let's move along here to our next rumor. Des Bryant and the Browns will not die. What is hype may never die. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the report from the Cleveland Plain Dealer is that things could heat up again next week because the vested veteran guarantee, i.e. if you would sign from the player before his first game, his entire salary is guaranteed. After week one, only 25%. So five, whatever, 25% or 5 million, so you know, a fraction of it is going to be guaranteed there. And John Dorsey has said that you know, they could revisit it and all that, and I think this is just the Cleveland Plain Dealer saying, oh, Des Bryant gets us clicks. Let's do another one. <laughs> I think that's what this is. I don't think Des is going to go back to Cleveland. I love one of the quotes in there was from John Dorsey. He was like, who's to say I won't call Des on a Tuesday? Like, that's how all <laughs> NFL GMs think, and they're treating it as like, oh, this means he's going to. I'm like, that's not the point here. I'll call up Tom. Hey, on a Saturday, we got to go play some golf. It's just the, one of the weirdest quotes you'll see. So, yeah. Let's move on here to one of maybe the scariest possibilities in the NFL. The Rams tried to trade for Khalil Mack. Uh, first off, oh my God. I love the Rams' aggression oh because it is glorious. And the report was that they offered a competitive package. Could they pay both him and Donald? Uh, yeah, like, you can make it work in the salary cap. You just give up Jared Goff, though. <laughs> eventually, you're going to have to cut somebody. You can't afford every single player. You can sign pretty much any player at that time but you can't afford everyone long-term. I think in reality, they probably offered a pretty similar package to, to, to the Raiders, and the, the Raiders were like, but you're going to be like the 20th overall pick. No. Pass. <laughs> let's go to the I love the Rams. Let's go to Le'Veon Bell really quickly here. No rescinding the tag on Le'Veon Bell. Well, like, yeah, that, that was the report from your report. I'm kind of like, well, duh. Like, why would they? You get nothing for a player that, that you cut, and your team gets worse. Like, just wait for him to come back. And also, is a trade likely? It's tough. Who do they even trade him to? The Jets? The Colts? What? I don't think it makes sense for any of like, the teams that have the cap space aren't good enough to go buy Lev Bell right now. He reeks to me of a player that the Steelers will not trade inside the AFC. Similar to the Patriots with Garoppolo, similar fair. to the Raiders That's fair. With, with Mac. So I think they want to trade him out of conference. We'll, we'll see with Lev Bell. I think he reports at some point because mm -hmm. he wants to eventually get those game checks. Maybe he shows up on Saturday to, to, to get the game check and then plays week two. I, I don't know. Really quickly, it's a mess Jadavian Clowney wants that big time money. Contract your Jadavian Clowney is going to be so good. Yeah, oh he, my God. He, he wants $24 million per year because he wants to get alongside Cleo Mack and probably t top it. If he stays healthy for all 16 games, maybe. Talent's always been there. Injuries have always been the concern with Clowney, so we'll see what happens on that end. I will not be surprised if he gets a lot of money. Houston can afford him, but they're letting him play this year out, which makes sense for both sides right now. And I think Jadavian Clowney is probably pretty happy with that too. Jadavian Clowney, Whitney Merciless, J.J. Watt returns. That Houston Texan defense is going to be a lot of fun. But you've been watching NFL Daily. Again, remember to check out chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120.